Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to talk to you about progress and voicing off of an estimate. Let's begin by searching to see what open estimates we have. To do this, I'm going to go to reports on the left hand side of the screen. Where it says find my report name, I'm going to search estimate. Before I even get the words estimate out, the option I want appears. Estimate and progress invoicing summary by customer. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. Now I can see that I have one estimate. It's for Vicki Montgomery. The estimate is for $10,000 and then I've currently invoiced $0 of that estimate. This will be perfect for our example. I'm going to go ahead and select anywhere on this line. I'm just going to pick any of these numbers. When I click on it, it's going to open up my estimate. So to entertain myself, I'm going to change it from pending to accepted. And then I'll say it's accepted by Vicky and we'll say it's accepted on today's date. What is it? Today is May 8th, 23. Okay, so, so I have my estimate. My estimate's been accepted and we need to make progress invoicing. What I want to do is I want to select on create invoice in the upper right hand corner. I now have options. I have the option to invoice the entire estimate, to invoice some percentage of each line, or to do a custom amount for each line. And so let's say, for example, we want to do 50% or we'll do 25% right? So we'll say, okay, clients accepted the estimate. We're asking for a 25% deposit in order to get started on the work. So I'm just going to say 25% create invoice. Do I want to leave without saving? Sure. The only thing I did was change it to accepted. Here I am. I met the invoice. The invoice is for Vicky. It automatically puts in the invoice date. However, it puts it in as the fourth when I'm recording this on the eighth. So I'm just going to change my invoice date. It's only really a problem if the estimate was a couple weeks ago, because you're going to look like a, a bit of a jerk if you send them an invoice and they're already past due because the date's wrong. Whenever you want it to be due, scoot down. I can see um, it's a project. It's the bridal jewelry package. So I'm, I'm scooting down and I can see that everything I had in my estimate is here. The only thing is that it, it's not the full estimate. It's the 25%. I'm having fun with this. I'm, I'm saying that the bridal jewelry package is a $10,000 package. I don't know what it should be. I got married a hundred years ago, but I thought I would have fun with this. And so in our example, we're going to say that it's 25% down. That's what we're asking for. And so if, if any of this, if we looked at it and said, oh gosh, I want to change it no problem. You can change it, make it 30%. Whatever is most appropriate for you in your situation, you would send it to your client. I'm not going to send it anywhere because this is just a video. I'm going to select save and close. Now, when I look at my, my estimate in progress invoicing summary, I can see it started out as a $10,000 estimate that I've invoiced 3000 of it. And there's 7,000 remaining. When it's time to create more invoices, I can again click on my estimate, go in here, create invoice. Or if I wasn't starting from there, I can go to the plus sign under customers. I can select invoice. I can choose my customer. So in this case, Vicky. If I wait just a second, my estimate will appear on the right hand side. I can select add. And then QuickBooks is going to do the same thing it did before. It's going to say, OK, Rachel, I'm happy to add. How would you like me to do it? Do you want an invoice for the whole thing for a percentage? Or do you want a custom amount for each line? In this example, I'm going to choose custom amount for each line so that I can show you how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and choose copy to invoice. And then down below it says zero of 10,000. And so I'm like, okay, that's great. So my amount, I want to make it 1,000. So I'm going to type in 1,000. It comes over here, it becomes 1,000. It's, it's showing the, um, the percentage in my quantity. That's super great. I don't ever have to think about that. I just have to look at this and say, I, the human will be typing in the amount and then QuickBooks will calculate the stuff that it needs. 
So we'll again pretend like we send it off to our person, save and close. So now I want to show you how you can kind of look and see all the history of what's going on with your client. Obviously, you can come to this report, but I want to show you from the customer profile. So let's go to sales. Let's go to customers. Let's go to Vicky. And now what you can see is the estimate. You can see the invoice, the invoice. If I click on the estimate, over here I can see there's these two invoices that are created. It's nice because it links them together. If I want to, I can click on edit in the lower right hand corner. And then I can see $4,000 has been invoiced, $6,000 is remaining to be invoiced. The, the logic behind progress invoicing, maybe for you it's not bridal jewelry. Maybe for you, you're working on a remodel for a client and you want to keep track and say like, okay, I, I'm estimating your remodel to take about this many hours or about this many dollars or whatever the case is. Then as you progress through the job, you can bill your client and then you can keep track of what you promised or what you said or what you committed to. You said my, my estimate or my bid is going to be this much money, but I'll break it in these little increments. If you have a lot of jobs going on, using estimate rather than Excel or something else to keep track of it gives you the ability to see at a glance, what do you have left that's outstanding that is unbilled? And then also when you're looking at the estimate, you can look and clearly see all the invoices that went with it. So for example, let's imagine that you do remodel work. Your client has hired you to remodel the bathroom and they're loving it. And while you're there, they say, you know what, could you do the kitchen too? And you say, of course I can do the kitchen too. Well, now you've got two estimates. Having the estimates linked to the invoice, it's going to make it really easy and really smooth and really seamless for you to keep track of what you've built out and what you need to build out. I hope this has been helpful. If there's anything my team or I can do for you, let us know. We offer bookkeeping training and YouTube videos. Go ahead and message us or leave us a comment below. Thank you so much.